What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'm going to be touching on the super exciting updates for OBS Studio. YouTube streaming just got a whole bunch easier. So without further ado, let's pull across the patch notes and see what changed. In the latest update for the release candidate one, or of course, whenever you're seeing this, this feature may already be into this and you won't need to download a special pre-release version. Basically, you can directly link your YouTube account with OBS and you no longer need to use a stream key. When you do, it gives you the ability to schedule streams, change the stream title, description, privacy settings, scheduling streams, and of course, much more. It also includes a chat doc, which you can enable and put in OBS Studio next to whatever you're working on. Although currently you're not able to send messages, you're only able to see them. And this was made possible directly with YouTube as well. So without further ado, how exactly do you get this update? Well, assuming you're watching this close to the release date, you will need to download 27.1 Release Candidate 1 or the latest release. This version will be in the description down below, though you may already have this feature in the future. Simply scroll down to the very bottom and download the installer. When it's done, open it up and follow through with the installation as you would usually. Click Next, choose an install location or leave it as default and then Install. Wait for it to finish and then click finish at the bottom when it appears. Now that OBS Studio has launched, you'll notice not much new. However, if we go into settings, then stream, you'll see YouTube slash YouTube gaming and YouTube RTMPS. On the first one, you'll notice that your previous settings are now set to legacy as there's new primary and backup server settings here. Though that's not what we're interested in. Drop down service and then change it to YouTube RTMPS. Inside of here, choose the server and right below it, you'll see connect account recommended. Click this button and you'll be taken across to a website where you need to sign in. Of course, from here, it's just a simple Google sign in. Simply allow access and then close the page when you're signed in. And then immediately you'll notice inside of OBS Studio, connected account followed by your account name. Of course, I'll need to change my streaming settings down here, but for now, I'll leave them as is. Anyways, not much else has changed other than the new chat window that is now open on your computer. You're able to dock this anywhere by dragging and dropping it into somewhere you'd like. Usually you'd stick it to the right hand side of your actual stream preview. But of course you can place this wherever you would like. Depending on your configuration, you'll have to mess around with it. Anyways, once you're comfortable with the position, clicking start streaming will instead bring up a new window allowing you to set up your actual stream itself instead of just going live straight away. You can choose from existing events or you can create new events here. Give it a title, a description, set a privacy, and in order for YouTube chat to work, it needs to be either public or unlisted. Choose a category, set whether it's made for kids or not, change latency options, DVR, 360 video, and schedule for later if you like to schedule a stream for later, which you can auto start and auto stop at specific times if you so wish. But for now, I'll leave it as is, and I'll create an event and go live. This is unlisted, so nobody should see it unless you have a direct link to it. After it's been created, you can see the chat window on the right hand side now appears and we're streaming. Of course, my settings are very off, so I'll be dropping quite a few frames. Anyways, heading across to my YouTube studio dashboard, followed by content then live, you'll see my live stream over here, my broadcast upcoming. If we click on it, we can see the details that we set inside of OBS Studio and heading across to the link, you'll see it live on YouTube over here. I'm gonna go ahead and mute it and say something in the chat over here. After sending a couple of messages, you'll see that they reflect in OBS Studio here. No matter what account you're logged into, you'll see messages here as they go by. Though currently you're not able to respond to them here, you'll need to open it in a browser. Scheduling streams works a bit differently. If we stop our stream and start a new one, you'll see we have to enter settings once again. But if we go to select existing events, we'll be able to choose from ones that we have created on YouTube itself, or of course scheduled here before. Anyways, I'll create a new event, set up details for it, and I'll schedule for later. I'll even get it to auto start. For some reason, I'm not able to set auto start and auto stop. Maybe that's a feature coming in the future, but for now it's not available. Anyways, if I schedule the event, currently with these two buttons unchecked, it won't automatically start streaming, but it's now set it up on YouTube and we're ready to go live whenever we want, or of course on time. Heading back to my dashboard, refreshing, you'll see I have an upcoming broadcast over here. It's working exactly as you'd expect. Now, assuming that when this feature is eventually released for the public in the full version of OBS, that auto start and auto stop feature should be built into it, as well as hopefully the ability to chat back inside of the dock over here. If for some reason you close the dock, how do you get it back? Well, it's really simple. It shows you right here, view docs. So let's go ahead and do that, view docs, and then simply click on chat. 
As simple as that, you now have your YouTube chat dock open and ready to place wherever you want. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name has been Taken Over here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.